Larry Rogers was a nice young man who lived quietly with his foster father in northwest Atlanta. He was slightly mentally retarded and was the last person anyone would ever imagine being the victim of a murder. But today, friends and relatives gathered at his family's church on Ashby Street to pay their final respects. The ceremony was short and dignified, but to reporters covering it, there was an air of eerie familiarity. The flower-bedecked casket, the crush of photographers, and the glare of TV lights, the quiet tears of family and friends, and the plea from the pulpit that the murders come to an end. We know that there is an eye that searches all corners. There is an eye that knows who is responsible for it. And if we just tie in as the police department and we of the community keep our eyes open for anything that might happen, that we can bring this nightmare to a close. While family and friends mourned inside the church, police kept constant watch outside. They took pictures of anyone coming or going and checked the license plates of cars parked on the street. To most of Atlanta, Larry Rogers was just number 23 in a long string of tragedies, but for his foster family, there is now a gap in their lives that will never be filled. A gap made by a faceless killer who is still free. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. In Southwest Atlanta, B.B. Emmerman, Action News.